Today we're going to work with basic division. We've already covered addition, subtraction, multiplication. And when we talk about dividing, this idea of dividing, we're actually still using multiplication. We're thinking, for example, um, how many sevens are in, uh, we'll just do something easy, 70. How many sevens are in 70? So how many sevens are in 70? Can you answer that question? 10, right? You just did division. All right, that is a division uh, thought process. The answer to this is 10. We could have written this problem the same way. How many sevens are in 70? Okay. And what we're going to learn is, uh, or review, you've already done this before, is using long division to answer these questions, but obviously with ones that might be a little bit bigger. So let's get right to it. You're going to be asked to divide. This is the last topic in this first section before we take a test. And let's say that I have 17 into 85. How many 17s are in 85? Well, when we're doing long division, and I'm going to go slow, we always ask ourselves, how many 17s are in 8? There's none. So then we ask, how many 17s are in 85? And the key to doing long division is being able to multiply. That's why we just spent a bunch of time on multiplying is because I knew division was coming next. Here's what you have to do. Instead of sitting there trying to figure this out in your head, you need to come over to the side and try what you think is the possibilities. And this is not messy work. All right, I don't want you to erase this work. This is part of long division. So let's try 17 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry 2, you get 68. Now, what we're trying to do is to get as close as possible to 85 without going over. So now let's try 17 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. Carry a 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 85. And it goes exactly five times. So here's what we do. We put a five here. And then we think five times this 17 makes the number that I put below. And then it becomes a subtraction problem. So I subtract underneath and I get zero. So this problem is done. The answer is 5. Okay. Let's do another problem. Twenty four into one hundred and forty four. I'm going to pause the video and let you try that one on your own. All right, we are asking how many twenty fours? Well, twenty four won't go into one. It won't go into 14, but it will go into 144. So we come over to the side and we try. Maybe 24 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carrier 2, 120. Maybe we should try 24 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Carrier 2, 144. So it goes in exactly 6 times. 6 times 24 is 144. We put a line because we're going to subtract. We get zero. Now you might be asking, why do we have to do the subtraction thing? Because these first two problems are easy and the next couple problems we're going to have to keep going. Let's look at a problem like that. 43 into 3,655. 
So this is why we have to utilize that subtraction thing. That this is going to be more than a one-step problem. So how do we tackle this problem? We start by asking how many 43s are in 3? None. How many 43s are in 36? None. So we're looking at how many 43s are in 365. So that means we come over to the side and we try something and it's always going to be something less than 10 when we're doing long division. I'll never try anything bigger than 9. So what do you think we should try here? Seven. All right, let's try 7. Somebody said 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Carry your 2. 28 plus 2 is 301. I think we should try 43 times 8. So 43 times 8, 8 times 3 is 24, carry a 2, 32 plus 2 is 34. That's as close as we're going to get without going over because we're at 344. If I add another 43 onto it, we'll be bigger than 365. So how do I do this now? I put the 8 right here above this last digit. Okay, that's the first thing. Then I take this number, 8 times 43 was 344, I put it right here and I subtract. This is why I said you have to put the number underneath and subtract. So 5 minus 4 is 1, 6 minus 4 is 2. The problem is not done yet. Do you know what we need to do next? Bring the 5 down. So this 5 comes down, and there's a 215 there. So guess what? Now we're going to do the same question. How many 43s are in 215? So. We need, didn't we already try some things over here? Right? Didn't we try 43 times 7 and it was 301? So we need to try something less than that. Somebody said we should try 43 times 5. And this multiplication part is the key to doing this. 5 times 3 is 15, carry a 1. 20 plus 1 is 21, there it is. So I put a 5 here, 5 times 43 is 215, I subtract and get a 0. The most important thing with long division, by far the most important thing is all of this stuff, all of this multiplying. You cannot do long division without, with, you know, without a calculator, of course, you cannot do long division without doing some multiplying. And do not erase all this work, okay? This is part of your solution, all right? This multiplying is what gets you to the correct answer, all right? So it is very, very important. Now I want you to try one of these longer problems. This will be problem number four. I want you to try 58 into 2,146, and I will pause the video. Let's see how you did. We asked how many times will 58 go into 2? It won't. It won't go into 21, but it will go into 214. So we come over to the side and we try some things. We try 58 times 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry a 3. 232 is too big. So I need to try 58 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry a 2. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 174. That will work. So I put the 3 above the 4 and I know that 3 times 58 is 174. So I write that there and now I subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. I need to borrow, make that a 1 and that an 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. So I have 4, 0. I need to bring down this 6. 
So now I'm doing 58 into 406. So I need to come over to the side. I knew that 58 times 4 was 232, so I need to try at least, what, maybe 58 times 6? Six times eight is 48, carry a four. Six times five is 30, plus four is 34. I think I should try 58 times seven, right? Just to, just to make sure, 58 times seven. Seven times eight is 56, carry a five. Seven times five is 35, plus five is 40. How about that? It's exact. So I put the 7 above the 6. I just found out that 7 times 58, 7 times 58 is 406. So I put the 406 here, subtract, and I get a 0. Now, is it possible that that thing at the end is not a 0? Most definitely. All right, now we're going to do one of those, and then we're going to be done for the day. We're going to do a problem where it just doesn't work out exactly right. How about 185 into 920? Now, staring at this problem and, you know, complaining about how big the numbers are isn't going to get you there. You just have to start moving your pencil and getting to work. Obviously, 185 won't go into 9 or 92, so we're, going, we're looking at 920. So, come over to the side, and let's try it. Um, what do you think? Four. Six times. Somebody says we should try six times, so we try that. Six times five is 30, carry a three. Six times eight is 48, plus three is 51, carry a five. Six plus five is 11. 1,110 is too big. So let's try 185 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20, carry 2, 34, carry 3, 740. I better try 185 times 5 just to be sure. 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2, 42, carry 4, 9, that one's too big. So both of these are too big. I have to use this one. 4 times 185 is 740. When I subtract, do, some, do my borrowing, 8, I get 180. Well, later on we're going to work with decimal division. Right now, we're just going to say that that is our remainder. Okay, this thing right here is our remainder. So my answer would be four, and you can just put an R, remainder 180. That's not going to happen very much tonight. Most of the ones you do tonight should come out evenly, but it may happen a few times. And we will stop there for today.